the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 159, 1 Kings 12 to 14. Division into south and north for 200 years. The south and north Israel that became divided gradually shifted farther away from their original shape of serving God, and Jeroboam became a pronoun of evil kings. First point. Two years after the death of Solomon, Israel became divided for the second time, and this lasted for 200 years. During the 200 years, South Judah zigzagged between the way of David and the way of Jeroboam. As for North Israel, for 200 years, they completely neglected a kingdom of priests. The history of North Israel can be summarized in four broad points. The first is that the 19 kings during the 200 years all followed in the way of Jeroboam. The second is that it started with Jeroboam and ended with Hosea with the Omni and Jehu dynasties in between. The third is that during the Omri dynasty, Prophet Elijah and Elisha walked, and during the Jehu dynasty, Amos and Hosea walked in order to turn back to David's way. The fourth is that North Israel, who only went in the way of Jeroboam for 200 years, eventually fell in the hands of Assyria in 8th century BC, and thus made them into mixed lace Samaritans. Second point. The initial reason for the division of the country was due to Solomon's later rule, and the actual reason for the division was because of Solomon's son Rehoboam's choice. After the death of Solomon, his son Rehoboam attempted a conversation with the people of Israel at Shechem. The reason Rehoboam went out to the people rather than the people coming to him was in order to get the support of the people in the north, and also because the people in the north had already turned against Rehoboam. Jeroboam, on the other hand, had escaped to Egypt in the days of Solomon. But when Solomon died, Jeroboam became the head of the north. The process of Jeroboam becoming the head involved the following. Firstly, Jeroboam was raised by his widowed mother, and during Solomon's days, he made himself known as an ality in architectural construction. Secondly, during the late years of Solomon's rule, Jeroboam became Solomon's political rival, and there were people who supported Jeroboam. Thirdly, Jeroboam heard through Prophet Ahijah that he was to be the king of the ten tribes of Israel. Fourthly, when Jeroboam became popular, he had to run away to Egypt due to threats from Solomon. Fifthly, after returning from Israel, he became the head of the people in the north. As such, the people's hearts were going towards Jeroboam, but Rehoboam, who was 41 years old at the time, decided to listen to his friends rather than the advice given by the elders. Because of Rehoboam's foolish decision, within three days, the people turned against him. Third point. Jeroboam became the king of the ten tribes according to the request of the Israelites. Previously, Jeroboam had heard 
through the prophet Ahijah of God's decision. About that time, Jeroboam was going out of Jerusalem. And Ahida, the prophet of Shiloh, met him on the way, wearing a new cloak. The two of them were alone out in the country, and Ahida took hold of the new cloak he was wearing and tore it into twelve pieces. Then he said to Jeroboam, Take ten pieces for yourself, for this is what the Lord that God of Israel says, See, I am going to tear the kingdom out of Solomon's hand and give you ten tribes. As God has said, Jeroboam became the king of North Israel that consisted of ten tribes. Fourth point, through prophet Shemaiah, God blocked the war between the south and north. When the ten tribes appointed Jeroboam as their king, Rehoboam, who was on his way from Shechem, prepared for war in order to retrieve the ten tribes back. At this, prophet Shemaiah intervened and stopped this war. Thankfully, Rehoboam obeyed God in this. God did not want brother countries to fight each other. Although they were divided into two, God still wanted them to implement a kingdom of priests. God told Jeroboam that he would be given the ten tribes, who would be much stronger than South Judah, to acknowledge Jerusalem and to make sure not to weaken the system of a kingdom of priests. God, furthermore, told him not to intermarry with foreign princesses and to maintain a good relationship with their brother country, South Judah. Fifth point, Jeroboam used a kingdom of priests as his tool to create the way of Jeroboam. God gave Jeroboam ten tribes on the condition that he was to follow in David's way and to strengthen a kingdom of priests. However, Jeroboam feared that if the people of North Israel went to Jerusalem three times a year to keep the annual festivals, their hearts may waver towards Rehoboam. And so he made a new way which was Jeroboam's way. To secure his own political stability and power, he used a kingdom of priests as his tool. Here we can compare David's way and Jeroboam's way. To look at David's way, which focused on strengthening a kingdom of priests, the first was that it centered on God's forgiveness. The second was that it focused on sharing between neighbors. The third was that it focused on peace between nations. Oppositely, Jeroboam's way firstly selected those who were not from the tribe of Levi as priests. Secondly, the place of worship was changed, as well as the target of worship that became man-made idols rather than God. Thirdly, the timings of festivals were changed. The first festival in a kingdom of priests was Passover, which was dedicated to remembering the day the Israelites came out from Egypt. But Jeroboam changed this. Another huge mistake of Jeroboam was that during his fifth year of rule, he ignored the fact that the Egyptian king was attacking the Jerusalem temple. In other words, he did not care that his brother nation was in trouble. This was most likely because Jeroboam had received help from the Egyptian king during his exile away from Solomon. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily 
live that story as our life story. And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.